we're gonna be kind of talking about how it really doesn't matter where you are in life, whether that be relationship-wise, children-wise, career-wise, um, you know, where you're living, everybody kind of has this idea of where they have to be at a certain age. You know, we wanna inspire everyone to understand that Things happen at different times for everybody and there's no right or wrong time for anything to happen. If you can tell me about where you are in your life, relationship-wise, and kind of the journey you've had to this point. Just single, living life. <laughs> <laughs> but you look like you're having a fun time. I am having a fun time doing it. <laughs> I am kind of in a transition period. I was just in a long relationship and, you know, we're both single parents, both have busy schedules and just kind of trying to find out what we both want for the future. I'm married uh, to my husband. It's been four years this past May. Uh, we were dating for about eight months and then we got engaged and we're engaged for eight months. So it was definitely <laughs> a short dating engagement period, but we both have dated before that and we were both ready to get married. So we were pretty confident that each other was the one, so. <laughs> Facebook wise, it would be, it's complicated. <laughs> Um, I've been on and off, I guess you would say, with my son's father for seven years. We realized that, well, I realized that I had work to do on me. Right now we're friends. Um, we're still a family as far as our kids are concerned. We still, you know, that's where I'm at. <laughs> Women our age kind of go through this stage where they feel like by a certain age they need to have had a child. For a lot of us, it's, it's very it's very hard because we, you know, maybe if we're not in a relationship yet or we're just not ready to have a family, we feel like we're being pressured into that. I was the girl who was like, I'm not having kids ever or at least not until I'm 30. I was, you know, a go-getter. I wanted to travel. I wanted to do things. I still wasn't sure what career path I wanted to take. I was bartending, waitressing, and just having fun and, you know, was kind of in a on-off relationship and in the end just the way my life was going and decisions I had been making and, and things that had happened to me and um, it definitely was a blessing in disguise. If anything, you know, she saved my life. My cousins, my sisters, they all pretty much have two children each and I'm the second oldest. So that makes it like a little bit of pressure. My grandmother is always pressuring me with that. But um, at the same time, I spent most of my mid-twenties being a nanny and raising a child. So I see how much it takes in time into it. And I kind of done some of the work <laughs> without reaping most of the benefits <laughs> from it. Having Chance was a big eye-opening because I realized what I could be ready for, what I'm not ready for, how much it takes. Like I feel like everybody in their mid, like their early to mid twenties, should be a nanny at least like <laughs> once, <laughs> or even their teens, to realize like it's their walk in the park. But um, I mean, there's definitely that pressure. But at the same time, like my mom was it, so she was in her late thirties. She didn't have me and my brother, so like I always kind of had that guideline that I never really wanted to have children until I experienced my life and I got to do the things I wanted to do. Do you feel that anything in your life might be a little different now if you wouldn't have had kids? Because you were both young when you had your first kid. Yeah, it would definitely be different. I feel like a lot changes when you have a child. Just your freedom goes out the window. <laughs> and I don't, I didn't, my husband and I were trying to have our first Austin, so it wasn't like a shock. Um, but we didn't fully realize how much our lives were going to change until we had him. Just the freedom, you know, you can't leave and just go out with your friends. We went out with our friends all the time, which I'm thankful for that we took advantage of that time that we had. Um, we actually just went on vacation with our family and it was the first family vacation with Austin. So it was different just seeing how, you know, all my, I'm the first one to have a child on my mom's side. So all my other siblings, you know, slept in, went to the beach whenever they wanted to. And it was definitely different for Ryan and I and kind of like a wake up call that, wow, it's, it is different, but. I always say my my oldest son, he definitely saved me. Um, I was a rebellious teenager. I was the wild teenager that was doing a lot of things that I wasn't old enough to be doing and getting pregnant and having him, you know, and knowing that I had a child coming, it made me responsible. I went from, I was a D student, not because I was not smart, but because I didn't do my homework. I didn't do work. I did just enough to pass. Well, once I got pregnant, I became an honor roll student. I graduated, <laughs> I graduated with honors. Um, 
and I think just that responsibility of knowing that I had someone that was dependent on me as far as not being able to do things that doesn't affect me as much because my oldest is young enough, old enough to babysit. So yeah, that's great. Yeah, I have a I have a built-in babysitter, but he goes to college after next year or something. Oh. <laughs> but um, I mean, it it is difficult. It is you know, it's a challenge. Um, but it's a blessing, and I don't know where I would be if I didn't have my kids. I I mean, I can't even. I, I wouldn't even want to guess. Do you feel like you've accomplished your career goals that you set out for yourself? Or do you feel like sometimes you still don't quite know what you want to be when you grow up? I know there's some people in their 70s and 80s that say, I don't know what I want to be <laughs> when I grow up. Um, I'm pretty happy where I am now. Like I said, I nannied for a couple years. Um, and there was a lot of pressure when I did that because I went to school. I got a degree. I spent a lot of money to go to school. And I was just chilling out at the park <laughs> nanny some people are like what are you doing but I probably made more money when I moved back here I had a job I was very unhappy with and I knew I wasn't happy and I searched to find something that made me happy and now the position I'm in it now where there's so much room to grow I feel like I am kind of getting a late start and I just love going to work every day and I love being there Selling appliances was definitely not what I wanted to do when I grew up, but I definitely am content where I'm at. I think at this point in my life, being a mom and and I had waitress for almost eight years, um, I think valuing, I work for a company that is so family oriented and they care about your family and you know, it's just very lenient when your kid's sick and stuff and just working with a tight knit group of people makes working so much better. And I've always kind of done the customer service thing. So talking to people and helping people is it's definitely something I like and I think I'm content and I'm, I'm okay staying there. So definitely not what I put in, you know, the book when you wrote in second grade. For me, it was like, I want to be a pop star. Like, I, you still yeah, might be. I still might be. I mean, I really, I can't dance. I can sing like a little bit, but, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy with where I'm at. I've always written since I was young. I've always had a passion for writing, but I didn't kind of know what I wanted to do with that. And, um, a friend of mine kind of got me into this screenwriting course and um, through that I kind of figure, figure out that that's kind of the road I want to go down so um, oh, cool. I've been working on my writing and um, want to get certified as a kundalini yoga teacher. Well, I'm currently a full-time stay-at-home mom. <laughs> I was working part-time uh, when I had Austin. Uh, just a little bit here and there but when we found out we're pregnant with number two <laughs> time to stay home <laughs> so yeah um yeah I enjoy it staying home with Austin it just gives me more time to spend with him and um hang out with friends do my own thing things around the house um yeah definitely is bounced out I feel really blessed to be a stay-at-home mom because yeah. I know a lot of people you know you have to work and everything and I'm yeah, being with your child one on one all day long. <laughs> More no, than a full time. I was job. excited for this because it's actually time to get away and actually talk to, you know, adults and everything. So Sarah. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. chime in and say that it is off to you because I'm gonna tell you I was unemployed for a little bit and home a stay at home mom with my kids. And yeah. the one time I was like so excited because I was gonna get to go to the grocery store and he was gonna come home and watch the kids and I was gonna go to the grocery store. And he came home with grocery bags. Oh. And he thought he was doing a favor by going to the grocery store for me. And I literally burst out in tears and locked myself in the bathroom. Like, it's not fair. I have those days. So I, yeah, my hat's off to you. Yeah. It's not for everybody. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So if you girls could say any one thing to uh, all the other girls out there who are thinking that they're not happy with where they are in their life or feel like they're behind for where they should be or they're not engaged when they wanted to be or, or not in the career where they wanted to be like what's the one thing you can say to them about kind of you know thinking back on your life and the trials and tribulations you went through and the times when you thought oh my god this is not where I wanted to be right now or this is not the right place for where I should be right now and then you come to the terms now where you're like I'm happy where I am I'm, I'm happy with how things are going on my life what's the piece of advice you can give to them to make them know that it's gonna be okay. 
there's no rush. Like life's always an experience. There's always going to be tough times and bad times. I've been in situations where I've been stranded across the country and I didn't even know how I was going to get back. And I was like, well, this is pretty rough right now. <laughs> Life has bumpy roads and you just kind of have to go through them. So, I mean, it's, there's never any rush. Like I, you know, this is definitely not how, like when I was five, I have vision 30 to be at all. But I mean, it is what it is and it's, you have to make the best of, of what it is. I'm fine with being by myself and I'm happy and there'd be, it would be fun to share it with somebody but at the same time I'm having fun. I do my own thing. I go to work, I go to the gym, I go home, I watch my soap <laughs> opera, I go to the bar sometimes if I want. Like, and it's, 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 for the most part, it's a good life. For me, my advice is do what makes you happy. If something pops in your head and you want to move somewhere and you're not tied down to anybody or anything, go and do it because you only get one chance to do it. So, and for, you know, girls that are worried about not being married and because believe me, there are days when I'm like, you know, why am I not married and why don't I have a family and, and all this and I, I mean, I am a little bit religious so I kind of like God's laughing at me because he knows what's to come so and that's for anybody I mean nobody knows what's gonna happen you just kind of have to have faith that you're gonna go down the right path and make the right decisions and you might make mistakes along the way but they're ultimately gonna lead you to where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be or who you're supposed to be with so <laughs> and people who are worried about not having kids let me tell you it's it is all it's cracked up to be but it's not if you enjoy sleeping second guess yourself if you enjoy not being you know nagged every five seconds but, I mean for all of the struggles and all of the you know just tantrums and everything it's it's totally worth it I truly believe that if you're not happy with where you're at now you won't be happy just like the saying the grass isn't always greener on the other side um, and it is when I, back for example, when I, I used to work retail and in retail you deal with customers and people <laughs> all day long and they can really upset you and get to your mood and one day I finally realized that it's not them affecting me, I have the power to you know, really control my emotions, control my feelings and it doesn't matter what circumstance I'm in, I can decide to be happy or I can decide to be disappointed or whatever emotions. Um, and I truly live by that, that you know, it's your positivity, it's your positivity and you can affect other people with it. Happiness is perspective, it's all about um, your mind state and you could be living in a million dollar mansion and be miserable and you could be living under a bridge and be the happiest person on earth um, I think that comparing ourselves to other people we have to get over that as women as humans because we're not in competition and we're all different and we all have different blessings we all have different talents we all we're all unique so <laughs> you can't compare where someone else in, is in life and you know judge yourself off of that because we're all running our own race. I mean, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> she should be a motivational speaker. <laughs> Yay, very good. <laughs>